Good morning one and all, myself Dr. Swati and I am here to explain about uh, alkadienes which is a part of unit 2 and this video is intended for the B Pharmacy second semester students to make them aware about the chemistry of alkadienes under the subject pharmaceutical organic chemistry 1. So in this video I will be explaining you about uh, alkadienes in comparison with alkenes, the nomenclature of the alkadienes and classification of the alkadienes. So there are various types of alkadienes are there. So what are the different types? Definition with examples I will be explaining in this video. So let us see first what are alkenes. So pre in the previous uh, previously we have discussed about alkenes. So once again we will revise that. So the alkenes are the unsaturated hydrocarbons which are containing one double bond. So those are known as alkenes. So they are also known as olefins as we discussed earlier. Olefins why they are called? Because they have the capacity to form oil forming liquid. So they are known as olefiant gases initially. So that is how the word olefins has been come. And their general formula is CnH2n. As you are aware the general formula for alkanes is CnH2n plus 2. When compared with alkanes two hydrogens will be lacking. So the general formula is CnH2n. So this is an example for alkane. This is the first member of the homologous series. So alkenes are the unsaturated hydrocarbons which are having double bond. So in the organic chemistry there are also compounds which are having two double bonds. So unsaturated hydrocarbons containing two double bonds. So they are known as alkadienes. So when double bond, uh, one double bond containing compounds are known as olefins. As these alkadienes are having two double bonds they are also known as diolefins. And their general formula is C and H2N minus 2. You can compare the general formula of both alkenes and alkadienes. Alkadienes one more double bond excess will be present. That means one double bond can be inserted with the removal of two more hydrogens. So the number of hydrogens will be H2N minus 2 for alkadienes. And this is the example for the alkadiene. You can see it is a four carbon containing molecule having two double bonds at the alternative positions. The name of this molecule is 1,3-butadiene. So what is the nomenclature of the alkadienes? The word alkadiene itself is the IUPAC name of these molecules. So let us consider some of the important IUPAC rules for the nomenclature of the alkadienes. So the first and important thing as soon as the molecule is given is first we need to identify the parent chain. So what do you mean by parent chain here? It is the longest continuous chain which is containing two double bonds is considered as the uh, parent chain here. Okay. So we need to identify the longest continuous chain irrespective of the mode of writing. So that is the first IUPAC rule. And the next one is after identifying the parent chain we have to name the parent chain. So how we, the naming can be done we will see with the help of these two examples. So the first molecule you can see here is having four carbons and alternate two positions double bond is there. So as it is an unsaturated hydrocarbon with two double bonds, we can consider it as an alkadiene. So how the naming can be given for this molecule is, we have to compare with the corresponding alkane. Suffix NE in the alkane is replaced with the word diene because it has two double bonds. So thus we can give the corresponding alkane is butane. So NE is replaced with diene. So this will become butadiene. And similarly, this molecule is having 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 carbons in it. So, corresponding alkane is pentane. NE is replaced with diene. So, this will become pentadiene. So, first two rules are identification of the parent chain and then naming of the molecule. And the next one is we have to number the chain. So, how to number the molecule? There is a rule. So, that is we have to number the chain such that the two doubly bonded carbons should get the lowest possible number. Okay. And also the position of the double bond should be indicated in the prefix. Okay. So this was the next rule. So we will see for the same molecule how the numbering can be given. So this is 4 carbon chain and it is being symmetric. We can number from this end or this end. It will become same. So now the position of double bond is at first position and third position. So we indicate the position of double bond in the prefix. So this will become 1, 3, beta diene. And next molecule, if we number this end, then only the doubly bonded carbon atoms get the lowest possible number. So 1 and 4. So we start giving numbering from this end. So first position and third position double bonds are there. Total number of carbons are 5. So this can be named as the 1, 3, penta, diene. So the next rule is substitution. So we have to look for the substitution after the identification. 
uh, of the parent chain, naming the parent chain and numbering the parent chain. Look for the substitution. Now in substitution also, the substitution may be similar substitution or different substitution. Let us see these examples. The basic molecule is same, parent molecule it is 1,3-butadiene, but it is having substitution that is methyl substitution at 2 and 3 positions. So we indicate the position at which the substitution is occurring in the prefix, so 2, 3 and both the groups are similar then we will prefix di. If 3 are there, try. If 3, 4 similar groups are there, then we will indicate tetra in the prefix. So this is 2, 3 dimethyl 1,3-butadiene. Similarly, if the substituents are different, like here second position, ethyl group is there, third position, methyl is there. Then the group should be indicated in their alphabetical order, prefixed to the name of the parent molecule. So this will become now 2-ethyl, 3-methyl, 1,3-butadiene. So that these are some of the rules for the nomenclature, IUPAC naming of the alkadienes. Let us move for the classification of the alkadienes. And this classification of the alkadienes is mainly given based on the relative positions of the two double bonds, where the two double bonds are present in the given organic compound. So based on that, alkadienes are classified into three types. The first one are known as isolated dienes, and second class are cumulated dienes, and third class are conjugated dienes. Let us see what are these molecules one by one with the definitions and examples. So the first class of agents are isolated dienes. These are dienes. The word isolated means here the two double bonds will be well separated by each other. Okay. So the definition is these are the dienes in which the two double bonds are separated by more than one single bond. So such type of molecules are known as isolated dienes. So as the two double bonds are well separated, here the molecules are having similar properties as that of the alkenes. Like alkenes, they will undergo electrophilic addition reactions. Similarly, these isolated dienes, they will undergo electrophilic addition reactions. Let us see the example, one example for the isolated diene. So you can see it is a 5 carbon containing molecule having two double bonds. So it is an alkadiene. But if you look at the relative positions, 1 and 4 double bonds are present. So we are indicating the prefix that. 1, 4, pentadiene. So, if you see the position of the double bond, here the two double bonds are separated by 1 and 2 single bonds. That means they are separated by more than one single bond. Okay. So, this will be the example for the isolated diene. The second class of agents are known as cumulated diene. So, these are also dienes that means containing two double bonds only. But cumulated means the two double bonds will be present side by side adjacent to each other. So, when two double bonds are present adjacent to each other, they will share a common carbon. So, these are the dienes in which the two double bonds share a common carbon atom. So, such type of molecules are known as cumulated dienes. So, let us see two examples for this. So, you can see here it is a three carbon containing molecule having two double bonds. So, it is an alkadiene. But what is the special feature of this alkadiene? The two double bonds are present adjacent to each other. When two double bonds are present adjacent to each other, they share a common carbon. So, it is 3 carbon corresponding alkane is propane and E replaced with diene. So, it is propadiene and position of the double bonds is 1 to position. So, it is called 1 to propadiene. And similarly, the next one here it is 4 carbon containing system butadiene. So, position of double bond again adjacent position. So, this is called 1 to butadiene. So, these are the two examples for the cumulated dienes. The third one are known as conjugated dienes. So, the two double bonds will be in conjugation with each other. So, such type of molecules are known as conjugated dienes. So, these are the dienes in which the two double bonds are in conjugation with each other. So, in conjugation with each other means there will be alternative double bond and single bonds will be present. Such type of molecules are known as conjugated dienes. So, let us see some of the examples for the conjugated dienes. You can see here the same one which we have described under nomenclature. So, here the two double bonds are separated by a single bond. There is an alternative double bond single bond system is there. So, 1,3-butadiene is an example for the conjugated diene. Similarly, this is one more derivative of 1,3-butadiene where 2, 3 positions are substituted with it methyl groups. So, this is 2, 3, dimethyl, 1, 3, butadiene. 
and in this example also it is a derivative of butadiene only but differently substituted at second third positions second ethyl group is there third position methyl group is there so it is two ethyl three methyl one three butadiene again two double bonds are separated by one single bond or they are in conjugation with each other so these are the examples for the conjugated dienes okay so this is the classification of alkadienes given based on the relative positions where the two double bonds are occurring okay so in summary if you see there are three classes of alkadienes are there first class they are isolated dienes where the two double bonds are separated by more than one single bond so 1,4 pentadiene is an example for that and next one is the cumulated diene where the two double bonds will be adjacent to each other so 1,2 propadiene is an example for the accumulated diene and third one is is conjugated diene where the two double bonds are in conjugation with each other that means they are separated by a single bond so 1,3 beta diene and derivatives of 1,3 beta diene are the examples for the conjugated dienes okay so these conjugated dienes because of their stabilization conjugation phenomena they are more stable when compared with the rest of the classes of the alka dienes that is isolated and cumulated and conjugated dienes among three conjugated dienes are more stable molecules because of their unique properties in detail about the chemistry of conjugated dienes we will be seeing in the next coming class thank you